Last week, Governor Brown signed two bills into law that have already gone into effect. These new laws aim at rationing the water supply in California, despite the fact that the drought has long gone. How much water are you allotted by the government? How much water are you allowed to purchase to cook your food, to bathe, or to wash your clothes? The answer is as outrageous as it is amusing. This is from Assembly Bill 1668. This bill, until January 1st, 2025, would establish 55 gallons per capita daily as the standard for indoor residential water use. The bill would impose civil liability for a violation of an order of regulation issued pursuant to these provisions as specified. 55 gallons of water is how much you are allowed to use per day. That might seem like a lot at first, but when you factor in all of the small ways that water is used on a daily basis, it adds up pretty quickly. An 8 minute shower uses about 17 gallons of water. A load of laundry uses about 40 gallons of water. A bathtub holds 80 to 100 gallons of water. And a dishwasher uses 6 gallons of water. With this data in mind, doing a load of laundry and taking a shower in the same day would exceed the allotted amount of water. That's not even factoring in making food or washing your hands throughout the day. Unlike Flint, Michigan, where the water has lead in it, in California, you can use the water, but you will get fined if you do. What are the fines for using too much water, you might ask? If the violation occurs in a critically dry year, immediately preceded by two or more consecutive below normal dry or critically dry years, or during a period for which the governor has issued a proclamation of a state of emergency under the California Emergency Services Act, based on drought conditions, $10,000 for each day in which the violation occurs. For all violations other than those described in paragraph 1, $1,000 for each day in which the violation occurs. California, or as Jerry Brown would call it, New Venezuela, is going to become a big cloud of BO. Can you imagine how conventions and large gatherings of people in California might be affected by all of this? If you thought Comic-Con was bad before, just wait till you've been to Comic-Con on a year when the government legally forces these people to not bathe on a regular basis. All joking aside, if we do start to see fines issued out for this and serious enforcement of this law, the answer is simple. If you can afford it, have your laundry taken to a laundry service or take it to a laundromat yourself. This is where most of the water is used and you would be able to wash your dishes and take a shower in the same day. That's pretty generous of Jerry Brown, don't you think? Rationing water, even after the drought has passed. Now that's California for you.